Here we go. We're escaping. Launch. Oh, they go at the top. That's why I didn't see him on the bottom. Oh, now that is awesome. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here. Bring you guys another episode of Stormworks. And today we have a giant treat. Now, I don't have it spawned in yet, but it is the biggest VTOL that I have ever seen in this game. So check this thing out. All right, here she comes, and boom. Check this out. This is so cool. So this is another VTOL made by Lorgs. Uh, this thing's actually uh, a couple weeks old. I had it on my to-do list on things to check out, which, by the way, it is driving itself out of the hangar real quick. <laughs> That's just a feature that it's got, which is absolutely amazing. But yeah, this thing is gigantic. It can actually house one of the other VTOLs in. Look, its wings are folding out. <laughs> this is insane. It's going to stop, right? Like, I don't have to hit the brakes. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it is hitting the brakes. So, yeah, we're going to be checking this thing out here today because it's absolutely incredible. Uh, if you guys want to check this thing out, I'll have it linked down in the description. Also, while you're down there, if you want to hit the thumbs up button for more Stormworks, and if you have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. All right, so to give you guys a perspective as to how ginormous this thing is, like, check this out. So its front wings actually uh, folded out a little bit. Its back wings, I guess, stay, I guess, close. Do you even want to call those wings? I mean, I kind of guess they're wings. Uh, maybe they have a different name. But this thing should have a hanger in it and everything. And it should house, which I'm thinking right here, one of the little uh, crafts uh, that we, uh, we've we actually played with. It's like a little fighter. But yeah, this is the, uh, I'm not even sure if I'm saying this right. It's the Hubero uh, C70 Colossus. Uh, this is by Lorgs, so let's jump in, fire this bad boy up, and uh, see what she's got. I guess maybe we'll use the open ramp here. Ah, that's cool looking. Should we load up the fighter now? You know what? I think maybe we can load up the fighter mid-air, which would be incredible. These are all floor magnets. Oh, I guess we just hit this again, and close that up. All right, I'm going to make my way up to the bridge, and we'll go on a little tour once we get up in air. All right, here we are in the bridge. We're ready to fire this bad boy up, and oh, no. Look at the screens. I'd love to do this in multiplayer, but I have a feeling this might be a laggy boy. So that's the navigator. It's cruise seat, and it's another cruise seat, so I guess we need to be in here. All right, so we need to start hitting some stuff. <laughs> so we got main power, engine power, bridge power. Okay, let's go main power. There's engine power. Bridge power is on, okay. Everything's loading up here. You got the little loading screen. All right, so we have GPS. Looks like we have radar. We've got a bunch of systems up here. Looks like your engines, boosters. Wow, that's impressive. All right, so I guess we need to start the generator and turn on the transponder. Uh, see, there's your ramp controls there. All right, so 50 standard for the RPS. We are firing up. Ooh, okay. I'm going to give it a little bit. Now, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, this thing's got, like, some really cool autopilot features. So, uh, that's something that we can definitely check out. It's got loudspeakers, actually, in the, uh, I guess throughout the whole thing, so you could talk to your crew members. That's cool. All right, so real quick. Oh, the pilot seat's actually in the front. I didn't even see that. All right, so let's go and go front lights on. Uh, there's your altitude hold. Let's go and set in here. All right, so there's some winches. Uh, it just died. I'm pretty sure it's not a good thing. Uh, navigation lights. There's flares. Engines on. There we go. Oh, buddy. She's firing up. Oh, okay. So it's adjusting engines right now. It should be uh, started up shortly. This is incredible. Oh, it makes a lot of noise. I, I really hope I'm doing this right. I read through the instructions, but... Uh, it was pretty self-explanatory. Okay, we got altitude hold here. All right, so we're going to wait for that to adjust, and we should be good to go. All right, engines are stable. Let's go ahead and input a altitude. We're going to go, let's go 200 here. So we'll input that. And autopilot, we'll leave off for now. We'll go altitude hold on. I mean, I guess we can manually drive it or fly it, but let's just see if when we turn that on, will it go up? Or do I need to switch? Wait, actually, the front engines, they even look like they're on? Uh, 
I'm not even sure if they're on. Hold on, we might have to manually lift this up. Oh, there's a ground brake on. Hold on, let's turn that off. Okay, that's what was uh, cutting the upwards thrust off. All right, so we are good to go. We're lifting up. So, yeah, you can manually fly it, or, of course, you can just put in your autopilot coordinates, and this thing will fly itself wherever you want it to go. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of flying here, so I can go ahead and start to... Okay, that's the upwards, or forwards, backwards. Uh, it's still lifting up a bit because it's, uh, I guess, getting to the 200, which I think we're there now. Oh, that is so cool. Like, how do you create this in Stormworks? Uh, this actually probably took a lot of time to make. I think it actually said in the description. Uh, yeah, it's definitely props to Lorgs here. This is amazing. All right, let's get ourselves an autopilot destination. We're not going to go far right now because I do want to load up the fighter. So let's call it over here uh, by this cavern. Okay. Uh, let's see, navigation lights. We don't need flares. Let's go and input this here. Waypoints on. Okay. Let's go autopilot on. All right, it's going to turn itself over to the waypoint, and we should be good to go. Oh, it's so insane. I really want to drop the flares real quick. Uh, well, maybe we should do it at night. Okay, so say we are uh, doing a night rescue or something. Let's go and turn the floodlights on, too. What's this look like? Oh, that looks cool. All right, so say we're over maybe a down plane or something. We can always go boom, and there it goes. It's dropping out flares. Oh, you can see down to the bottom there. That's cool looking. All right. All right, so destination's reached. Let's go ahead and stand up here. Uh, okay. And we're ready to walk around. Everything is pretty much running itself at the moment. Uh, what screen is this? I'm pretty sure there's another button I can hit here. Navigation lights. Hold full speed. Yeah, I don't see... There's a button somewhere. Hold on, what's this? Oh, we got emergency escapes down here. Uh, let's go and equip the parachute just in case we need it. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of lag. It's not too bad right now, so we're going to go up. I gotta figure out where the E11 goes. Let's see, where does this lead to? Uh, oh, we got little maps here. So we have, let's see, we're here by an exit. Oh, we got toilets here, it looks like. So we also have cabins. This is fully detailed. Uh, we've got, what is this? This door leads, oh, okay, that leads out the side. We probably don't wanna use that right now. You got a bunch of gear out here. Oh, this is too sweet, wait. Okay, here we go. The E11 docking. This is going to be... Oh, it parks up here. I kind of thought it went in the hangar below, but that could probably be for other vehicles. Hold on. Let's go ahead open the roof here. Oh! So we can go get the other fighter and land it in here. Do I need to activate anything? Or maybe we're good to go here. Roof's open. No. No. Uh, there's some magnet connections. I don't know if I need to maybe activate those somewheres. Uh, this is insane. All right, you know what we're going to do? Uh, let's go ahead and climb up here. So we're going to climb up up top and let's see. Where's the creative island? Oh, uh, I kind of fell off there. I, I want to just parachute off this thing. All right, I can't actually get off that ladder. Uh, let's go ahead and use maybe this roof hatch real quick. Can we get out of this one? Eh, there we go. I was having some issues there. All right, so the creative island, I'm pretty sure, is behind us, and I'm floating. This is quite odd. All right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to skydive off. Wait. I could have swore there was escape pods. Maybe we should take one of those. That might be a little bit more epic. Hold on, let me go find those real quick. Okay, medic bay. There's more cabins. Uh, another cabin. All right, I got to find these pods. Is there probably... Are they down here? No, this is the main hangar we came up in. Uh, I don't think the pods are down here. Nope. There's the gym, bridge, more cabins. This isn't a pod. This is a bathroom. Okay, that's a bathroom. Uh, okay, I've got to find these things real quick. This is going to bug me if I don't get to use them. All right, so I've uh, actually resorted to going into photo mode to see if I can find the escape pods and where they might launch. I'm not exactly seeing it. It does have two escape pods listed in the description, but uh, the only thing I saw were the escape doors towards the bridge. Uh, yeah. It says they're on here, and it'd be a shame if I... Wait, is this them? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Found it. Oh. Uh, this doesn't look safe. All right. 
Let's see. Close the hatch. Here we go. We're escaping. Launch. Oh, they go at the top. That's why I didn't see him on the bottom. Oh, now that is awesome. All right. Well, we are in our little escape capsule here. Uh, this isn't going to fill up with water, is it? I'm pretty sure it's sealed. And we're going to touch down here. All right. Uh, splash down. Let's go ahead and open this. Try not to drown. Let's go ahead and go up. I think the pod is sinking. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, you don't want to stay in that too long. And we are surfaced. All right, let's go get a, uh, a fighter. All right, so here is the E-11. We actually went over this in an episode with Frantic. Uh, we shot missiles at each other. So we're going to go ahead and climb into this bad boy, power it up, and we're going to fly and try to get it inside of the... Uh, the big boy out there, so this is gonna be cool. All right, here we go out of the hangar, and oh, uh oh. Okay, yeah, we want to keep that full throttle. Uh, wait, where did our, where did our thing go? I think it might have loaded out. Okay, it's got to be right up here. Huh? Thought I had, I thought I had my visibility up really high. Okay, wait for it. Wait, it still on the map is it not yeah it's, it's over to the right a little bit i believe um okay we'll find it here in a second should be near this waypoint did it go oh okay loading vehicles uh oh okay don't lag all right we're gonna get a little bit of lag here this is a, a ginormous creation and we're about to try to park another creation inside of it so yeah that's definitely a thing also i'm kind of curious how fast does the big one move like, how quick could we get to, like, the Arctic or something? That would be kind of cool if it was really fast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and warn you guys. I'm not the best at flying crafts like this. So I'm going to try my best to get this inside and lock down. Uh, does it need to lock a certain way? Hmm. Oh, there's an electrical connector there. And there's a fuel probe towards the front. How is that positioned here? I think it's going to be like this, uh, which I've got to navigate this over here. Oh, oh dear. This is going to be something. Uh, I'm a little confused. I'm working on it. Wait, no, it definitely needs to be turned here. Yeah, because you can see how it fits. Uh, the bigger end needs to be over here. I hope I don't knock both of us out of the sky here. <laughs> So I'm hoping also when the multiplayer update comes out, which is supposedly going to like radically change the way uh, the slowdown works, maybe, just maybe, we could get this going in multiplayer. Uh, we're almost here, by the way. Dude, this is so cool. Okay, we need to go forward a little bit. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Okay, that's got to be like close enough there, right? Uh, oh, we just locked in. Wait, did we really just do that? I think we just really did that. Okay, turn that off. Turn that off. Uh, oh, decrease throttle. We need you to die real quick. Uh, okay, let's see. Open the cockpit. All right. How did we do that? We actually got it in. <laughs> I'm actually somewhat proud of myself. Hold on, let's go ahead and close. And boom, it's loaded in and ready to go. We did it. It'd be very, very bad if you fired the rockets in here. <laughs> uh, let's go and close that hatch there. That's amazing. Like this could be my new favorite one. Uh, and I'm pretty sure my last favorite creation was probably also by Lorgs. I mean, it seems to be the case a lot of times, but this is like the ultimate VTOL. Like, how do you get better than this? Like, make it like four times as big and it not be able to run in the game? Like, oh, this is awesome. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to move somewhere. All right, we're going to set course to... Let's just go far north. Let's just see how fast this thing runs. Set waypoint up here. All right, let's punch waypoint in. We're good to go there. Uh, it's already turning. It. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Okay, I thought it was going to flip over there for a second. It was just doing a really, really sharp turn. All right, so it moves. What is it? Vertical speed. RPS. Let's let it get... Wait, it's got an ETA? Oh, it actually tells you an ETA 
to where your waypoint is. I've never seen that before. So right now, I guess, and I don't even know if that's even the Arctic. Like, it's just a really far up waypoint. Oh, it's booster engines just kicked on, I think. Uh, it's saying 55, 54 minutes right now. And maybe we would be in the Arctic. We probably want to raise altitude a little bit. Let's go ahead and go 300 here. That way we don't hit anything on the way over. This is incredible. It just does your job for you, basically. I still wish I knew what this monitor was up here. I want to say... Oh. There it is. It's a camera. So, it's got an IR mode. And... By the way, there was an update that made these cameras a little more higher res. Let me make sure I've got that all the way up. Alright, so we can turn the monitor quality up to high. Uh, let's hope that's immediate. Yeah, it actually does look a, a decent bit better. It used to be extremely pixelated to the point where you really couldn't make stuff out. So it almost, I would say to an extent, made it a little pointless. By the way, that's the hangar camera. Okay, so we got the two cameras there. All right, so we have an ETA of 41 minutes to get to... I don't even know if it's going to be the Arctic, but it's just going, so... Huh. That's the thing. Do we have a way to really make it go fast? Uh, hold full speed. Uh, that's not bad for this, is it? No, I'm assuming we're good. Also, uh, fuel, we've burned through about 17%. It's been running for, I want to say, about 15 minutes. So that's actually not too bad. It's got plenty of fuel. All right, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the autopilot. I'm not going to wait 40 minutes to maybe get to the Arctic. Uh, we're going to turn that off, and let's see, where are we at here? We're going to set one. We're going to land here at the military base. So let's set a waypoint here. Okay, let's go ahead, change that, boom, and turn off hold full speed. These boosters were on. Let's go and autopilot over there. Uh, yep, here we go. Is there an auto land? I mean, that wouldn't surprise me <laughs> if that was also a feature. Uh, I don't believe there is, but I could be wrong. Also, there's a clock over here, and it also tells the uh, the temperature, too. Uh, ready to come in for a landing. Let's go ahead and turn off altitude hold so we can come down manually. All right. Let's try not to screw this up. Um, so let's zoom out a little bit. If we can get right down in the runway, I'd be pretty happy. All right. So we should be dropping altitude right now. Going to slow it down. Uh, it looks like we need to go a little forward. It's gonna take a second to land this bad boy, but I think we got this. Okay, we're getting close to touchdown here. We're gonna touch down right here in the middle. Okay, almost there. And wait for it. Uh, it's getting close. I don't want to slam it down because I don't want to damage it. So we're gonna come down. Oop. There we go. We have touched down, so let's go ahead and Turn off that. Let's turn on the ground brakes are on. So how do we just turn this thing off? Just that? I think that's it. All right. She's good to go. So we can walk out the side. This is awesome. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't even know how to explain what we just did. I mean, it's just one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So let's go and open this door. A little ladder pops out. Boom, we're good. Say if you were storing some vehicles in there, you need to move them from like one base to another base. Uh, you would come up here. We just pop this ramp open here. Of course, you got your fighter in the top if you want to use it. And yeah, you can unload it from here. That is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you can go run this, which I, I would like to know how many people can run this because it actually runs pretty good, especially if I don't have the fighter out uh, for its size, like maybe half a year to a year ago. Uh, this would have probably been impossible to run in Stormworks. So let me know if you guys can run this down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We'll see you guys next time on Stormworks.